this Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent. This marks the start of a new liturgical year. The season includes four Sundays that builds up to Christmas. It's a time where we prepare for the coming of Jesus. The circle shape of the wreath represents God's unending love, just as a circle has no beginning or end. The evergreen leaves used to make the wreath also represent God's everlasting love and that it will never die. The four candles that also make the wreath represent Jesus because he is the light of the world. Each of the four, sometimes five candles, represents a week in the season of Advent. There are three purple candles that symbolise forgiveness and one pink, the third Sunday, that symbolises joy. There is sometimes a white candle in the middle and this is lit on Christmas Day to celebrate Jesus being born. In this week's Gospel, we heard Jesus speak to his disciples about the need for watchful waiting so that we are ready for Lord's coming. No one knows the precise time that the Lord will come again, and it is useless trying to look for the signs because there won't be any. We need to be prepared at all times because he will come when we least expect it. So how can we prepare for Christ's coming? Through prayer, faithfulness and adhering to Jesus' teachings. God requires us to pay close attention in order to hear the way he is calling us. Each of us is an innkeeper who decides if there is a room for Jesus in our hearts. Your challenge for this season of Advent is to pledge something that you're going to do to prepare for Christmas. It could be giving your time by volunteering somewhere. It could be going and visiting an elderly neighbour. It could be as simple as decorating a tree to bring joy to other people. St Francis of Assisi said, It is in giving that we receive. So this year, we should make an extra special effort to show those around us that we care. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, good Lord, set me to be a strong and mighty pillar for your true church. I pray for all Christians and people of faith around the world facing persecution and discrimination. Help me each and every day, Lord, to have an open heart, to be less fortunate than me, and to be thankful for everything I have. Amen. St. John Fisher, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.